Greetings and thank you so much for joining with us throughout this week, day after day, as we have been learning on how to test personal prophecy and prophetic words. We've just been outlining different tests that we can apply to personal prophecy that we receive and prophetic words that are given to us at a personal level. The last test that I would like to highlight for us is the question, does this personal prophecy glorify Jesus and further his kingdom? See, Jesus said in John 16, 13 and 14, he said, when the Holy Spirit comes, he's going to speak, he's going to guide us into all truth, he's going to show us things to come, he will take what Jesus is saying and he will speak it to us. Then he said in verse 14, he will glorify me. For he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. So every time the Holy Spirit speaks, when he takes what Jesus is speaking and speaks it to us, Jesus Christ is glorified. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. So the declarations of the Holy Spirit, the testimony of the Spirit of prophecy, the testimony of the Spirit of prophecy always glorifies Jesus. The Spirit of prophecy always gives testimony to Jesus Christ and exalts him and furthers his kingdom, his purposes. So that's a very simple test. You see, many times we people give prophecy that really, you know, elevates the individual. God is going to do this and God is going to do that in your life and makes that person feel really good. And you're almost wondering, is that prophecy glorifying Jesus or is it exalting the person? Now, of course, it's good to call out the things that God wants to do and God is going to do in the life of a person. That's always good. It brings edification and encouragement. But ultimately, Jesus Christ must be glorified. It's not for the glorification of an individual, either the recipient or the communicator of the prophecy or the organization that's or whoever is doing it. Every prophecy, true prophecy, the Bible says, the spirit of prophecy, is the testimony of Jesus. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And every prophecy will glorify Jesus Christ. So we ask that basic question, is the Lord Jesus glorified through this prophecy, through what this prophecy says will accomplish, will happen? Is Jesus glorified? If Jesus is not glorified, then better wait on it, better pause on it. Maybe even you may have, even have to discard that prophecy. But if the Lord Jesus is glorified and His kingdom is furthered and His name is exalted, then run with it because that's what the Holy Spirit does. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for all the instruction we received this week. May Your people, may we Your people be discerning. That we can test the things we hear. That we can receive what is truly of You and discard what is not of You. It comes out of human thought and human energy or even demonic powers to reject those things and a walk which truly comes from the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit abcwo.org.